This is a follow-up tutorial to my last video on animating 2D tree leaves and foliage. If you haven't watched the previous video yet, you can find a link in the video description. Let's begin the tutorial. In this project, I have separated the artwork into several layers, specifically a layer of grass field, some layers of grass strands, and individual grass strand layer that we can animate its rotation. Using all these layers is important in creating a believable animated grass field. To add a wind blowing effect on the grass field, first select the grass field layer and go to effect, distort, turbulent displays. Adjust both the size and amount options to a smaller value. Size is a scale of turbulent pattern and amount is a distance of displacement. After that, you can animate the turbulent display effect by adjusting the evolution option. This can be done either by manually keyframing option or by using a script. In this case, we will use a script to animate it. On the left, click on the evolution option stopwatch and key in the following script in the dialog box that appears. Time, asterisk, 500. Time is a reserved variable within After Effects that returns the current value of the timeline. And the asterisk symbol is a multiplication symbol. In this case, we are multiplying the current time by a value of 500, which will make the animation 500 times faster. Next, add a keyframe to the Offset Turbulence option by clicking the stopwatch. Then add another keyframe with a bigger x-axis value. With the Offset Turbulence option adjusted, it appears as though the grass field is being blown by the wind from the left side. Let's loop the keyframe animation by using a script. Alternate click on the Offset Option Stopwatch and key in the following script. Loop out, Offset. With this script, we are looping the keyframe animation continuously throughout the timeline. Now we can copy the turbulent display effect and paste it to all the grass strand layers. This will apply the same effects to all the layers in the scene. To further improve the animation, use different values for the amount, size, and random seed options for all the layers. Next, we can animate the individual grass strand layer. By default, the pivot point of the layer is in the middle of the image, which is not suitable for animation. To readjust the pivot point, press Y and reposition it to the correct position. Next, we can animate the grass strand layer using the wiggle script. Press R to show the rotation property, then alternate click on the stopwatch. In the dialog box that appears, enter the following script. Wiggle 110. In this example, we set frequency to 1 and amplitude to 10. Frequency determines how often the property will animate per second, while amplitude is the maximum value the property will animate. Using smaller values for both frequency and amplitude can help simulate a wind blowing effect. Next, we can enhance the animation by using the CC Band It filter. Select the grass strand layer, then go to Effect, Distort, and apply the CC Band It filter. Adjust the start and end options so the image will bend smoothly when we adjust the band option. To animate the band effect, alternate click the band option, then key in the following script in the dialog box that appears. We go 110. We are using small values again for both frequency and amplitude to simulate a wind blowing effect. Finally, to quickly the grass strand layer by pressing Ctrl D and then reposition them around the scene. You can add a blur filter to the layers that are closer to the camera to simulate depth. That concludes this tutorial. If you found this video informative and learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing to support the growth of my channel. Until next time, take care.